Pat. Welcome to the Baby Shower Comedy Podcast. We got uh, Matt, Matt H, Matty H, Matty Tech. Matty Tech. What is that? That's what I used to do when people would say Matty Tech. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> College. You do that full thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's break a uh, out dance. <laughs> no, but it's it's a Royce to Five Nine song. Oh, all right. I don't know if you know that rapper. I got I uh, intro songs tick. to. Uh, we were tick, me and tick, me and Wong tick. were in Pennsylvania this weekend doing doing some shows, and they asked me what my intro song was. Love it. And I go just play whatever i don't have an intro i just go play she goes don't do that to me you have to pick one so listen what i do yeah tell me you did the movie thing oh okay <laughs> no, never I, mind i, I did jane's addiction Ooh, uh, entourage entourage bow now 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 oh yeah legendary dude. that's so <laughs> embarrassing where people <laughs> i will embarrassing it was killer no i know but it's there's also a part of it that like as a comedian and a guy a little bit in show right. that's why it always makes me cry it's a little douchey kind of yeah. he's, like, he's like look at me there's only 30 people in the audience and i'm like pretending like it's a sold out like madison square garden show oh yeah that's funny dude dude <laughs> i love i can't believe they play music for you where the what fuck would yours were be you? i told you it'd be Universal, as it comes around the earth. The, what is it? Uh, Pat, hit that real quick. I can't think of it. Pat, Pat, come on. Pat, come on. Pat. Pat. Yeah, it's quick. It's like 20 seconds. What is or this? Episode, 20... episode 144, something like that? You don't know what we're, we're going to t- say yet? <laughs> or 20th Century Fox. Either one. You know what I'm talking about. Bum, oh, bum. Univer- I thought you were talking about some bum, like, Biggie bum. song. It's called no, Universal. No, 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 no. Just the, just the, the okay, sound. Okay, okay. He doesn't need to play. Now I know. He, okay. <laughs> but if you want. All right. Uh, we don't need to Pat play. Pat says it. no. He's on, he's on Instagram already. <clears throat> Pat, get off Clip Instagram. <laughs> but anyways. Pat, I swear to God, Pat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pat, what does your villain do? <laughs> <laughs> Open told us before we got to make a villain. Yeah, you got to make a villain. But that I you like try the to concept. beat every day. Yeah. yeah, you know what it's like. You know what it's like. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what it's like? You want to hear something funny? You said that last time in the podcast. Yeah. It's like in Mario Kart where they got that shadow. Thank you. From the other race you had, and you're going, man. I took that turn crisp. Yep. On that last race. Yep. You just try to beat. Yeah. yourself from yesterday yep it's a great lesson it's a great the question a, is what if your villain kind of gets a head start on your day like you kind of haven't been beating your villain and it's already noon you got to really catch up yeah that's where i think you got to have empathy for yourself this is where <laughs> this gets into to a problem because you start beating yourself up and then you're like oh i feel like shit god my villain's already eating lunch and i haven't eaten lunch <laughs> yeah my um, villain uh you said you got some updates. Well, I was yeah, I got I got some updates. Uh <clears throat> did you see I saw it all. <laughs> By the way, Hardy hasn't told me what the updates are yet, but I imagine I kinda know what the updates <laughs> yeah, are. I mean you probably know the film festival one. Yep. That are we off? Um Jesus Pat. Miller, will you make sure fix, I don't have a middle part? Fix my gradient. Fix my gradient in my floor, dude. Pat, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you um, gotta stop fucking up the floor. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but but Hardy's <laughs> been having like a middle part. Whatever Lord you do, Farquaad. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, just tell me if it happens. Am I all right right now? Yeah, you're all right, but it's kind of trending towards middle part. Here's what I think the issue is. Mess it up. Maybe I'll do my hat. The hat, I think, mess. You can keep a hat on. Oh, okay. But I think when you do the hat, the hair naturally. Yeah. You know what I mean. What about this, Pat? Yeah, do a little beanie action. All right, let's do this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hipsters, we're a Brooklyn pod now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is good, right? But Hardy got into a film festival, Burbank. Well, what was it? No, it was in Bozeman, Montana. Bozeman, yeah. Meanwhile. Pomeroy doesn't give me the I I the you go up. no I would have gone did he, he like, go yeah he was out there I uh, here living you it, know we bro. can we can cut this out if this is too controversial 
Which we've never cut anything out. We've only yeah. cut one thing the out. The problem is our reach is never big enough to have a problem with. Well, that's why we need. To, that's why we need to hide these. <laughs> we're ten xing this year, though. I mean, we're on our way. Thank you. One fifty two. One. Here we go. Yeah. Um, I have a theory that you dominated the Q and A at the Angelica so much to such a degree that to such a degree Brilliant that Pom point. Pomeroy goes, I can't have Hardy out here. It's like, it's like an entourage, right? When they're trying to pitch the Ramones, the Ramones film and they leave the guy, they tell him that they're going to universal and they end up going to Sony so that the guy doesn't show up and fuck up the pitch. It's exactly what it's like, except your pitch is actually good. It's not like Bob's. Really? Brilliant. The fact that you had a theory for that is all time. <laughs> all time. Yeah, goes, I think he just for. Oh, he goes, I didn't know. tell you about Bozeman? Well, you know, we knew, and then he just didn't give me the update. Did Cal go? No. So it was just Pomeroy. It was just Pomeroy. Was it a good out, like outing, oh, did he so say? This, he said it was a, and this the best one of all, all of them. Just, he said, like, just... Women everywhere. Like he said, <laughs> he did. Well, he said like, uh, well, because okay, I don't know if you knew this one. He went to one in Chicago. Okay. And it like had to get canceled. There was like no one there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he like flew out. By the way, Har Hardy has a film out with Mike Pomeroy. Yeah. It's called The Rest of Your Life for the for the new followers. Yeah. It's called The Rest of Your Life. It's on Apple TV. And it's in my Instagram bio. Yeah, it's in his Instagram bio. Um. I I'm on Letterbox and I gave it a full five yeah. out of five. And you came. You Did know, you give Pat, it a full five out of five or no? Have you I should probably. You rate should it. probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, have you seen it yet? Oh, Pat, get off Instagram. Jesus <laughs> Christ! You looking at porn over there, dude? No, you're on, I, you're on Tinder. I've referred it to my friends, and that's 10x me. So oh I, yeah, wait, your buddy at uh, Trevor. Uh, yep, Trevor. Simone dude, did. that guy's the man, dude. Hit Pomeroy up. Hit me up. We've been chatting with him. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, he said like uh, a, a group of women showed up, a group of uh, lesbians, actually. Big okay. pack of ladies and a uh, bunch of viewing. And at the part at the end where I go, what is this side of you? I'm so aroused. Uh -huh. You know that part at the very end? The movie was a while. I saw it a while ago. Okay. I, well, need to, like, I need to revisit it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we're like running out of the apartment. At the very, very end. Okay. And like, I'm leaving and I go, what is this side of you? I'm so aroused. Uh -huh. And there's someone in the crowd yelled, this guy's such a dude. <laughs> That's the... Was it one of the women? One of the... Uh... Yeah, I think it was one of the, yeah. the the ladies. So they were, it was a... Was there a Q&A? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He's was there a Q&A after? Me, you know, probably Was there, probably was there proof? No, there's no proof. He just texted you saying you missed it. Yeah, he's saying it was there was great, women everywhere. But he didn't. He's not a lot like he didn't like. The, well, that's why I brought up Chicago. Like, there's other ones where he's gone and been like, this was a disaster. Yeah, I mean, if you get canceled, you can't kind of lie. There's no. That's black and white. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> he a good can't point. be like it was canceled, <laughs> but it was still great. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. But there's if no it incentive went on, to lie. Yes. Right. If it went on, brilliant. There's no catch. It. There's no way to double check. To see if it went well. <laughs> if it gets canceled, you'd be like, really? It went well? It says yeah, 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 that yeah, the yeah, screening yeah. was canceled. Right. It's kind of like a stand-up set. It's like, if you had the set, then you might embellish. Yeah. It was solid. Yeah. He said they were dying at Rod. They were really loving Rod's. Yeah. And, and, uh, when Which, by the way, should have lasted longer. But anyway, I, no. I was fighting for it in the edit. <laughs> you know? Anyway, that's one a, of the there's updates. There's another update. Uh oh yeah the, the other that other short film is like yeah Hardy's got rounds. another short short film out did you see that they got me as the, the little pick well is that the pick for the short film or is that I one don't know of if them? it's the pick it's just like a pick they put up for the yeah. yeah for the it's one of them yeah but that's the first one that they released yeah. me and the the what percentage of the short film are you in would you say oh I'm in 20%? the twenty percent no I'm in the whole thing but I'm not. Like a Le Luis is yeah. Uh, great question. Probably if you were like to allocate, if you were to allocate 50%. lines, screen time. Oh, I would say uh, there's four main characters. Yeah, each get twenty five. No, Luis. 
Luis is the main, but it's very ensemble. Yeah. So like probably uh, I'm probably like you know of thirty percent of the other. You're thirty percent of the short 30, film. Thirty, 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 something like yeah, probably right. a little less maybe. Anyway, Pat, you want to fact check that? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, couple that's of exciting. Big, When's that getting released? Couple of big Friday updates. Uh, I think it, they're like trying to put it into the. Oh, they're doing that whole bullshit. Let's like into the, try to get it in film festivals yeah. instead of releasing it. Yeah, you're not into that. It's all. It's like it's <laughs> like doing late. It's like it's almost kind of like stand-ups doing a Letterman set. Or so you know, like a yeah, like a Jimmy it Fallon. It's like, yeah, it's great. It's an accolade. Yeah. But what's really gonna do well is if it if people have access to it. Yeah. And people share it. Yep. I'll just throw it up on YouTube and try to promote it that way. But once again, yeah. I'm not. You know, it just seems like a lot of time and energy to just get a little. But that's just me. Well, I think... I have no I have no idea. I'm not in the film world at all. So I haven't read blog like I'm sure there's a bunch of yeah, blogs where the they're like you got to do. World. You're in the the promoting world. Like Mark Norman, <laughs> all these guys, they put up specials on YouTube now because they go if it's now I guess a short, it's more just timing, right? Like if you get into a yeah, thing you're not like putting it behind a paywall. Like, that's why some comics don't put it on Netflix. They're like, I'd rather just put it on YouTube instead of Netflix because it gets to more people. Right. But that's, uh, that's not nowadays, necessarily yeah. what you guys are doing. It's just like a timing. Well, that's what he's, you know, that's what he's right. kind of doing. I I don't know. Look, I'm kind of new to this, too. I don't know the effectiveness of the festivals <clears throat> anymore. Yeah. I don't know how effective they are. I know that you meet people. Does that lead not to more? Not you, because Pomeroy's going by himself. Yeah, not me at Bozeman. <laughs> Just live in the dream. I would love. I love the idea of like uh, <laughs> you and Pomeroy being at like a festival, and everyone's crowd. He's like everyone's crowded around you, yeah. talking to you. No one's around Pomeroy, and I'm then it cuts, him. and then it cuts to the next festival, and you're like, "Wait, we're we're in a festival." He's like, "Yeah, I thought I told you." <laughs> You heard it here first, Pomeroy. I've found I we have discovered the issue. You know, we were gonna go out there, we were gonna to wear pod, by the way. Pomeroy, don't <laughs> take any of this. I would love to be in the next film. <laughs> we were gonna wear big puffy coats together. We yeah, were gonna do go a budget sand sundance. You were gonna go snowboarding, start sto- yeah. start snowball fights in the street. <laughs> have threesomes. You know, you know have threesomes like yeah. giant drama and turtle. What else? What are the other updates? A little revisit. I, I mean, I got some topics, some like more existential kind of stuff, but if you want to continue on this little pain train of look at how cool I am. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Did we I'm went- it, was a, it was a joke. I love, I love the success of my friends. <laughs> it was a joke. Pat, what do you Dude, got? It you, sounds like uh, you got something, Pat. You had a couple, you got to tell me about, I don't know, tell me if this is going to play on the pod. Yeah. But you called your mom Ugh. on stage. Classic. Will this play on the pod? Classic. I mean, I don't know if it played then. <laughs> no. I had to say that. That was a good joke. <laughs> Let's call my mom again on the pod. It was fucking le- it was a fucking rock it was a wa- a rocker. So was Hardy fucking- Hardy was Hardy was doing uh Look. Luis's show. Yeah, so what happened was I just went up on stage. Yeah, so I'm doing cut stand up and uh I give a lady in the front row I had I try a- to grab Didge. Yeah. Oh man. Let's 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 keep on that. Yeah, so I'm like... Is that a move that you're doing now? Not all the time, but I thought, you know what? And we've talked about it. I was like, Miller... I even thought of you in the set because I go, oh, right. What I got to do is go for Didge, and then I whip out the flip phone. Right. 
Because I hadn't done it that way really ever. I would just pull out the flip phone and be an idiot and talk about, do you mind if I record my... Anyway, you told me get the didge first and then sort of have a reveal moment. Instigate the didge. Yes. So I instigate didge, and I do this because I have a copy of the Jerry Maguire DVD mm -hmm. in my coat. Don't ask me why. I'm, I'm a prop comic now. Yeah. <laughs> so I brought it. And I'm like, hey, you had me at hello. You know, I'm like, do you want this Stevie D? So she's like, OK. Is she cute? Yeah. But then I'd ask her if she was of age because it seemed like there was a lot of really young Miller. <sighs> that got a laugh. I'll tell you what. Some guy in the back goes, you should have done that before you got Didge. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, because if you are you of age already puts it in creepy, a weird right? yes, it's creepy. The of <laughs> a, the the question of of age towards the end is more just kind of like insurance. That's what I'm right. Saying. It's Bad. better to do it towards the end. Mm -hmm. Clip it. Clip it. So she, I I go. Yeah, well, uh, you know what. She's like, are you How proposing? I don't know. She was like 20, early 20s. There was a pack of these ladies in there. Uh -huh. you, have you ever been to Niagara? It was in Niagara? It's right here. We walk by it every He's day. He's doing his show at Niagara, Just this not week. Bowery? Just this week, because there was an issue at Bowery. Yeah. So it's like packed with people getting fucked up. How many people? 20? Yeah. And yeah. the bar itself is jumping. Like, right. it's kind of a mess. Cause it's on a the Friday? Music, it was last night. Saturday? Yeah. Seven o'clock? Yeah. Yeah. All Loud. Right. right. Uh, so they're all in there getting drunk. They're having fun, though. Yep. And she... Uh... <laughs> I can see you up there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she she's like, Why? she's like, oh, are you like proposing that I give you my number? And I'm like, yeah, 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 here. And I give her the flip phone. Yep. And she's like, you know, oh, da da da. I can't believe a flip phone. Ha ha ha. And then she's like, you have a missed call. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she's like, it's from a restricted number. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, that's probably a debt collector. Rat, rat, you know, a little zinger. Yep. And then she goes, oh, yeah, your mom called you too. And I was like, okay. And she goes, do you want to call her back? So I was like, yeah. Let's call her back. You know, and she's like, really? And I was like, yeah, I mean, you brought it up. Let's yeah, let's call her back. And she's like, OK. And I was like, do you know how to use that? You know, that got a big laugh. The flip phone. Right. <laughs> you know, because now she's calling her on my phone. Oh, you said you know how to use that. Yeah. She didn't say. All right, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, do you know how to use that? So she. I was like, put it on speaker. And that's where she was like, I don't really know how to put it on speaker. Yeah. So eventually we get her on Isn't speaker. Isn't speaker <laughs> on a flip phone literally just a button? Isn't yeah, there like the, a speaker phone button? Yeah. There's like the middle button yeah. to put her on speaker. That's how little features there are on a flip <laughs> phone where that's just assigned a full button. Yes. Middle button speaker. My mom picks up. Yeah. And you can hear her. And she's like, hey, Matt, da, 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 da. Uh, and she's doing a puzzle. She's like, Matt, I'm doing the puzzle you gave me. And I'm like, OK, mom, listen, I'm doing stand up right now. All right. You're like right now. And she's like, oh, OK. Um, is, how's it going? <laughs> she said that. <laughs> so that gets like a big. So anyway, we just like keep talking. We're not like doing anything in particular, but we're getting like laughs like like uh, from just the kind of stupidity. I'm like yeah. just having a conversation with my mom. Yeah. And then uh, I'm like, Mom, all right, I'll I'll uh, I'll tell you about this after, you know, like I'll give you a call back. Yeah. Um, and so we hang. So eventually I hang up with my mom. You know, she's like, I'll think of something to do next time. You know, she was being, it was, she was very, <laughs> my mom was very sweet about the whole thing. And then that girl was like, should we all call our moms? So now they're clapping. Everyone in the audience is like, yeah, let's call our moms, you know? So then that girl calls her mom on her phone. So I'm like, all right, yeah, call your mom. So her mom get picks Does up. Does she get on stage? 
No, she just get it just holds her phone up. Very uh-huh. small room. You can just hear it. And her mom Shelly gets on the phone. So I start having we have a she has a conversation with her mom. Uh-huh. And that was it. You know? She finally got off the, the phone with her mom. Are you gonna do this again? Is this gonna be a new move? I don't know. <laughs> you know, like it was like it was fun because it was ridiculous and right. because they were pushing the the right. uh, narrative, right? So you got this girl's <laughs> number? But no, no. She didn't give it to you? No. What? I, I honestly really didn't even want it at, 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 at that point. No, it was more for fun, the bit. No, that's such a fun story, though. Yeah, it's a good story. How'd you meet mom? Well, yeah. Niagara. I called her. Her she called her mom. Yeah, literally. we both met our moms before we even went on a date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Repost. So that happened. Um. Yeah, it was fun. All right. And then I tore my pants in half. Retest. Retest. Um, and then what else? What did you have? Pat, what were you going to say? It wasn't Bruno Mars versus Michael yeah, Jackson. <laughs> the Weeknd. Well, the Weeknd. I'm sorry. Who is the new Michael Jackson? Bruno Mars or the Weeknd? Sure. And I'll say Bruno Mars or the Weeknd. Uh-huh. Right. So, Debate what though? What are we debating about though? Why don't you pull oh, okay. up? Why don't you pull up a picture of both? Um, I personally have no. I'm bad with music. You seem like you know like album names and stuff like that. I probably know Twenty Four Carat Magic in the Air, yeah, whatever that song that. is. And then for for the other guy, I just know Star Starboy. Yeah. But I would say The Weeknd has a better voice. I would say Bruno, like, The Weeknd is cooler, man. I think The Weeknd's much better. Bruno Mars looks like a, a, you know, a part of my French, but a fucking loser. (laughs) Like, I would not want to, if if they said, do you want to hang out with Bruno Mars? He wants to hang out with you. I wouldn't even be like, yeah, you know? But yeah. weekend, if they're like weekends over there, he wants to say hi. I'd be like, yeah, let me go talk to the weekend. Look at this guy. Yeah. Bru- you, all, you have to put the weekend up against like someone else, maybe. Can you search Bruno Mars versus like, the weekend uh, and see what the general public is saying? Maybe like. Uh, Who's another Michael Jackson type? Like Usher? The- like Usher? I mean, Usher was the man. The issue is Usher was around during Michael Jackson, yeah, so it's kind of hard to. Yeah, and they're diff- they're pretty different, honestly. But he's a he has a great voice, and he can dance. The big thing about Jackson is that you got to he- put him up against Chris Brown. That's who you could put Chris Weekend up against. See what's the, I don't even know what's. Chris I like Brown the Weekend does. more too, but Chris Brown. I what think does in Chris terms Brown of, do? He does. He just does, he does it all. Yeah. I mean, in terms of coolness factor, dude, and the ladies, dude. I mean, actually, I should probably back this up, considering he got into a. He I heard beat that up he gets Rihanna, a lot of ladies. But but he beat up Rihanna. Well, he, they got into a, an altercation, but like he apologized. Didn't Chris Brown? But he's he, dude. In terms of being the sh- Chris Brown is like top, top level, dude. Bruno Mars has a far superior vocabulary range. Than yeah, I, that's probably not wrong. That's probably not wrong. Bruno Mars is like more of a classically trained, it seems like. Bruno. Like he plays the piano. Like Bruno Mars is like an unbelievably talented musician. But I don't know. I don't like his music as much. And I don't think he's as cool. You know, I do think Chris Brown is about as cool yeah, but that's As like the different. weekend. What does Chris Brown do though? Chris Brown, like Chris Brown, isn't Michael Jackson analogous, right? He's no, not he doing is. like, yeah, yeah, 
Well, no, but it's not as pop. It's more like rap, like uh, R and B, right? Yeah, some of it, some of it, some of it, but <clears throat> some of it's like really run it. I mean, this is so old. But go to Chris Brown, dude, and look up his like most watched videos. It's not, dude. Like, How tall is like Chris loyal? Brown? He's got like a billion. There you go. Like two. I mean, this is one of the yeah. I mean Drake, and and he's got the allegiance with Drake. Yeah, but there's no. Here's the thing about Michael Jackson. Like, there's no. Uh, this is too. His, his dancing. I. I. Here's what I'll say. His dancing's very Michael Jackson. His music's less. Chris Brown. Go yeah. Chris Brown. Best dance moves. Yeah. Compilation or something. No, go back to that first. Here's article the issue: that is that he's there's called the next Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's like uh, people said Chris Brown's the next Michael Jackson. Yeah, get out of here. I think The Weeknd sounds more like Michael Jackson. I agree with you. Like I actually, there's no like mystery, uh, coolness. He's very like out there, you know. Yeah. Well, he's literally doing Michael kind of well, yeah. See, I don't even think that looks good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's just never going to be anyone like Michael Jackson, dude. Of course. When I was a kid. The thing about uh, Michael is, go watch Michael. It doesn't look like he's... When I was a kid, I Doing would listen. Dance. I would literally watch Michael Jackson videos and dance along yeah, oh in yeah. my living room. I would do the little shimmy, yeah, the little leg kick. I used to do the moon. I I learned the moonwalk. A pretty, pretty. That's took, the thing. No one's like, oh, I know the Chris Brown whatever. Everyone yeah. knows the moonwalk. Well, there's no move that the weekend has either. And everyone knows this move too. <laughs> what move? The little leg kick. Oh yeah. All his, I mean, there was a joy to Michael Jackson when he performed that is like hard to replicate with a lot of these guys. Like with The Weeknd, when I see him, I almost feel like he's always kind of going through a depression. Usher, yeah, these are all the people. Usher's one of my, t yeah. Anyways, fuck this. Um. <coughs> yeah, what the hell, Pat? Pat. Pat's trying to get us. Uh, it's episode 144 or something like that, and you still don't know what we... We have no business talking about Chris Brown. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. I've been going to the gym. There's this lady there Yeah. that is oh so hot. Yeah. And I see her. She's a 5.30 a.m. chick. Uh, she's in there at 5.30. I don't 30. Know why you want these. This girl's going to... And then I saw her today. Ruin your life. She's going to have you drinking tofu smoothies. Good. I even thought about, as I was lifting, Good. I was like, I bet this girl doesn't really drink. Let's say she. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, no, you can't get shit faced and go to the gym at 5.30 a.m. Exactly. So I'm like, if like if we were to become a thing, and this is all I'm working out as I'm doing squats. If we were to become a thing. <laughs> Were you actually doing squats? I'm my trainer got me on legs heavy, dude. <laughs> I do squats a lot. I do de uh, Romanian deadlifts. Is this the guy that pregnant paused you? Yes, he pregnant paused. <laughs> Which me. now this relationship's escalated to squats. Well, did I tell you? <laughs> well, we can we can dig into this, but yeah, the guy I did four lessons with him. Right, I signed up mm -hmm. for four lessons. We did the four lessons at at the end. I. In the last lesson, there was a little bit of awkwardness because we both knew that this was kind of the <laughs> end of the road. Yeah. And it, and before my last like exercise, it was like five minutes left, and he goes, "So, uh, what are you thinking moving forward?" So he, because he's trying to get like a, he's you're already paying him. Well, I paid him for four lessons. Right, so he's going for the next. Package. He wanted the next package. Right, he wanted to re up. <laughs> and you so at that point you didn't have a good enough relationship where he knew he was getting the next package there's well, we still had, a little bit of awkwardness we had good rapport 
We would ju- we would mess right. around, you know. We would slap each other's asses. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we would hang in the locker room after the session a little bit. Right, hogs out. Hogs out. What's Ta- his name? Talking about our wives, Andrew. Given Andra. Andrew. Given it the locker room feel. Australian dude. Andrew, nice hog. Did you see my my curls today? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see I'm doing this new shaving thing with my pubes? <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. My schwanz is in your face. We'd have a problem if you didn't if you didn't have a problem. Do Crazy, you do other stuff love? or do you just do muscle training, <laughs> Andrew? Yeah, right. Um, but uh, <laughs> do you no, he get... was cool Australian dude. He's like a DJ. Good body. Uh, he wasn't like jacked, but he would do these like little, you know, these like what I would call finesse moves. Where it's ah, what do you mean? No, like you, not. Yeah. He wouldn't. Uh, when he's lifting, he's weights not doing j- like power lifting. You know yeah. what I mean? He would do this one. I saw him in the gym, not right. during a session. He was just there on his own volition. You know? Oh, that's how you really get to know a guy. He would hang from the rail <laughs> and just do. He wouldn't do a pull up, but just a little like shoulder pull. Like that. Like like not even that much. Like you did too much movement. But you knew that it just like exercised like one muscle. <laughs> like it was a finesse move. You know what I mean? Love it. Love it. It's a lot of uh what do they call that? Uh not stability, but uh isolation. Yeah. In that realm, like moves that when you do free weights that require uh stability. It's like all the muscles in the region to keep it right. You know, he's not there. Tendons and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love the finesse yeah. weightlifters <laughs> because they're like, they're not there for show. They're not there. They're like, this is like, I need to do this little yeah. movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've, they, yeah. Like, I'm thinking about going to the gym one day and just doing this. Like a neck one. Just like a. <laughs> and see what everyone's like this guy knows what he's doing this guy <laughs> this guy's crushing it but anyways we were it was the last set and he goes so what what's your plan going forward and i decided to do a new strategy with this because i had already gotten pregnant paused i went kind of yeah. comedic route i go listen we're after today we're never gonna see each other ever again <laughs> Right, and he kind of laughed, you know. Yeah, 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 and I was like, no, but in all seriousness, like I th- like I've got these exercises. Uh, I pre, I love, I love the workouts. Right. Um, if I have like, oh wow, this is even harder. You're doing a breakup. This is a full breakup. Wow. And here's the interesting thing: while I'm during my workouts, <sighs> at least you didn't ghost them. That'd be no. funny if you ghosted them and then you were around the gym. <laughs> well, the the crazy thing is when I'm in the workouts with him, there's other uh customers that he's had that like wave to him you know so i see the other guys that got (laughs) bs bundled (laughs) kind of walking around the gym yeah you see the other guys he's dated yes exactly right 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 um so i just tell him i go i I love the exercise and all that um if i get like another tweak or something like that I'll let you know or something like that. Or if I get, if I want like new, s- new exercises, if I get tired of these old ones. Yeah. You never know. You I'll know, hit you up. if things change in the future, I'm yes. not saying it couldn't work, but right now yeah, for we're me, not, yeah, I don't want to like never talk to you again. Right. I'm in a different place. Yeah. You've kind of got to take a break. Right. You got to see what else is out there. Right. I need to work on myself. <laughs> you didn't say what his body's like though. He's um he's not jacked. He's probably six two. <laughs> tattoos. Oh, he's tattooed. Some leg tats and then some just on one arm, I think. Some arm tats. Oh man. Okay. This L- guy little good. bit of stubble, but yeah. also some kind of like uh kid kid acne scars on his Interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um kind of <laughs> nar- narrow face. Yeah. High and tight, but not true. Not douche high and tight. It's just that he likes it tight. 
Yeah, like not even. Yeah, like that bottom left, like that type like of thing. At, this type of thing. Some acne But is scars. he like ripped or is he like lean? <laughs> I keep I keep diverging from. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get like <laughs> learn about this guy's body. But you're like um, he, he's got a nose. He's got. <laughs> he's got all appendages. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he's got blue eyes. I wouldn't say he's he's more strong and sculpted, but he's not big. Okay. Oh, I like it. Okay. Two, sculpted. Kind of lean, sculpted. Sturdy. Sturdy. Yeah, but puts, he's not puts big. up a lot of weight, but he's not mass. You know, like bodybuilders, right. how they're just like big. Yeah. You see big muscles like this guy's like definition. Okay. Okay. But he's not soccer player lean. He looks like he weight trains. It's not as lean as a soccer player. Maybe That's what I'm like, saying. He's not that lean. Because those guys are, they get into like a realm of like where you're like, he's more like a basketball or maybe a wrestler, maybe it sounds like. Yeah, it's even too big. I'm trying to think of a sport like a fencer. Oh, or like a tennis player. Tennis player might be more accurate. Yeah, like a little, okay. Yeah, this guy you know seems I mean? like, uh, yeah, we could, di- you know, like we could. Di- yeah, he could. Yeah, we we'll, we'll get him on the third chair tryout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but where was I going? <laughs> anyway, this girl. <laughs> oh, a girl. So this girl, right? Right. She's so hot that even during one of my sessions with my trainer. Yeah. And I don't know if, you know, hopefully my trainer doesn't listen to this or his wife doesn't listen to this, but. Um, Once again, our reach is so limited. <laughs> hey, listen. By the way, I got more <laughs> baby shower swag. It's in the mail to work to work out in. Oh yeah. I'm going baby shower comedy every time in the gym. Yeah, you got free it. advertising. You got a pump. Um. So uh, there was one time we were doing a fight because I was going with this guy at 6 a.m. and the girl was in there. And even he was checking her out. I, I caught him checking her out a couple times, and he had never. He's married. He never checks girls out. Right, because this is, like you said, this is a molten lava. This is like a, like a, ju- almost like kind of like a goat, like a goat where it just, you're shook. Yeah. It's like you're petrified when you see her. Yeah. You're like, this is too much. She's terrifying. She's terrifying. She's like a like a She's like an earthquake. An earth yeah, like a Michael Myers. Yeah, like an earthquake. I'm go yeah, we need to go back to hot molten yeah. lava. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a uh She's like a uh She's like a glass blowing furnace. Hot. <laughs> Right, she's like the oh, you know what she's like? She's like that she's like, pu- pe- pu- that little area in the pizza oven that yeah. that like burns. It even burns the. It's like that little. It chars the pizza oven. She's like a <laughs> a, a casting a sword iron. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's like a Mordor. Huh? Right, that like part of it that's glowing orange. If you if you throw the the ring. Towards her, it disintegrates. <laughs> yes. She's like a... Uh, She's a volcano where just being around her, you're kind of you're kind of getting some like little pieces of, of explosion on of you. Of ash. But she's deep. She's in the... Like, how, how hot is she? She's like... Here's brunette. what she is. She is... That's what I'm trying to figure out. She's brunette. Yeah. She's probably five nine. Yeah. Uh like one of these like skinny sculpted, but not built. Yeah. Beautiful. There was one day I saw her. Right. This is gonna get cry. I hope no one's listening at this point. <laughs> there was one day that she just did. <laughs> She's so She's gonna come up to me and be like, I by the way, I listen to your pod. <laughs> I I know it's crazy. <laughs> She did just pure squats. There was a full day really? where she was just doing squats for an hour, different forms and stuff like that. She's like one of beautiful, these beautiful, yeah, beautiful, earth, one of these earth rockets. 
Yes. That you got to stand like a, you know, when they do the space launches, they have to like stand like two to three miles away. Yeah. You can watch the launch with your family. And the trees are just yeah. blowing back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Oh, that's good. The trees are the just... The trees are just going... Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're kind of looking over at your buddy. You're like, yeah! You know, and it's... Yes. Yes. Ten. Nine. You have to have your shades on. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Oh. Two. One. She just fucking Yeah, one of those. <laughs> okay, so this girl's good looking. Here's how there was <laughs> This is how good she there okay, remember that tell girl. Tell me, tell me. She's like Remember no, that okay. girl? There was one girl that I was really sprung by. Oh, we all remember this. Can I say what happened? The P word? When you sent her your schedule? No, that was a different girl. <laughs> okay. I probably should have. No, that's fine. Okay. I think we probably said it. Okay. By the way, I brought that great, up. What a great. I brought that up at a show. Yeah. Because I was talking about uh, looking too eager. <laughs> yeah. And I was asking girls, like, what do you prefer? Do you prefer, like, a guy that waits a couple days? And they all go, no. Send. And I go, I and I told them. I revealed the big faux pas that I had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I go, I sent this girl, I sent a screenshot of my calendar <laughs> to show her what days I was available. And the the place just, w it wasn't even like, it was just kind of went silent out of out of sadness. And a couple girls were like, no, that's cute. That's <laughs> like trying to like make me feel better. Oh, I love it. One of the great, one of the great faux pas uh, of all time. Well, I mean, we've schedule. all, I mean, yeah. My list is long. <laughs> um, anyway, she looked like a girl that I used to be sprung by. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the, the this guy's is all checking getting, her out. Yeah. Yeah, the guy's checking her out. She was in at the gym at nine o'clock today. So it's a Sunday. She was yeah. in there at nine with me. And I was wondering so it's not okay to approach a girl at the gym. Yeah, it's usually not. This is what I originally wanted, to, right? It's back to the issue at hand. Right. It's not okay to approach a girl at the gym and hit on her and ask her out, right? She can approach you, but yeah. She can approach you. Let me ask you a question. If you see her outside of the gym, yeah. is that fair game? Or because you both kind of are aware that you're gym mates, yeah. it's like kind of coworker type stuff. I think it's fair game outside of the gym, but <laughs> but you can't go at five thirty anymore. <laughs> yeah, because that could happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah. I see her. I've seen her four or five times at the gym. Have you seen her outside the gym? No. I need to figure out which, if she's north or south of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I need to follow her out of the gym one day. To see what area I should be hanging out in. <laughs> yeah. South of the gym or north of the gym? Because I, I always go north. I'm north of the gym. Well, here's... <laughs> <laughs> the thing of it is, it's your it's your appetite yeah. for... Well, but it also is like, where else are you going to meet ladies, right? I'm not saying approach her at the gym, but I'm saying like a chick you see at the gym. If you can't say hello to a chick you see at the gym or take your shot, what are we doing here? Yeah, what's why the point you even of the go gym? into the? That's what I'm saying. Like you're working out at the gym, you're looking good, you're trying to see people. Like if you see a smoking, you see an absolute fucking laser town. Okay. <laughs> Why am I? And then I see her at the Joe spot a block away. I can't say hello to her now. No, like, so what let's the play fuck? it out. Let me let, let's. I'm I'm the chick. 
I'm sitting. I'm I'm at the Joe spot. What do you? What? How do you approach me? What do you say? I'd probably be like, I'd probably be like, hey, what's going on? Hell of a workout today, huh? What? Oh, you? Oh, you, oh, you saw me at the. We go to the same gym. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name's Matt. <laughs> I'm I'm uh Christy. Christy. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you go to? Uh, te- we both go to Temple, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've seen you there. Yeah. 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 So, uh, like, what kind of stuff are you into? <laughs> uh, monster models. Monster models. Yeah, I make little monster figurines in my spare time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. All right. You- <laughs> Good like, to see you. <laughs> Good to see. You. Like I'm wondering. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because I don't know if I go dig that round. That's what I'm. That, I think that's. I think that's the more <laughs> mature. <laughs> right. Route. Right. 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 You kind of see. You kind of let it simmer a little bit longer because you're in the similar circles. Yeah. 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 And you're Can probably going to see her again. A couple. Exactly. Right. You are. I think I saw you at Temple, right? Yeah. 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 Isn't that place yeah. what like that place? What like? Yeah. I go the I go super early because it gets wild in there. Oh, that's a great angle. Bring get, up the time because you guys are really early. Yeah. It's yeah. great in there early. You want to have? You want to? You know what you want to do? You want to have a rapport as though you were actually worker coworkers. Right. Meaning like. You can develop like a professionalish type of relationship with her, so it's not weird. Right. Hey, I see you. This is my name. So it's not romantic yet. Right. But you're keep you're you're sort of like keeping the you're leaving the option there. Yeah. Yeah. You want to almost like become friends a little bit yes, first. Yes. 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 And then next time you see her in the gym, you just go, "Oh, hey, what's up?" And then you keep walking. You know, yes, you don't talk yes, to her in yes, the gym yes, still, yes. but you just do like a. <laughs> Right. Now you're on. This is really smooth. And you're still professional. You're yes. like, listen, you're not distracting me at the gym. And then you just yes. hope that you see him in public again. And then the second public go around. Yeah, I like this a lot. And then you could even play it up like she may eventually start asking you more like stuff about your life, right. like what you do, yada, yada. Yeah. And then invite you can... her to a comedy show. And then, you, I mean, now you're cruising, dude. If you just do a comedy show, yeah, I run the show on Tuesday. You should totally yeah. come. Now she's still in. Is this guy right? In a nice way, though, because you're being friendly. So, and then I do some jokes at the show you know, about seeing a girl that I find attractive and how to get her get, in, she, get in her pants. <laughs> and she's on the phone with her girlfriends before the show. Like it's not a date. I told you. He just yes. said that like I should come. Yeah. He doesn't even like talk to me at the gym. He does this weird <laughs> peace thumbs up move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should see him at the gym. Like he like doesn't really like he does yeah. triceps all the time. It's weird. Yeah, he does the finesse moves. I think that's how you but I'll tell you right now, at the Joe spot, okay. You gotta go up, huh? I think that first inter- l- like let me put it this way. It's in o- in other words, how hot is she is the if I see her in public I need to say hi. Yeah. Then and there. Because if I don't then and there, the second time I see her, she'll notice me. Okay, and then it's not yeah. like I'm some, you know, little blend in with the runts. Yeah, a little guy. simp beta. Yeah, I'm not a simp cuck. A loser simp beta. I'm a yes, six, man. I'm a six foot seven, six foot eight. Yeah. Adonis. Right, you're not some beta do anything people say. Yes. Weenie loser. Right. Let the world happen to me. <laughs> loser. Okay. Right. You're not some guy who likes to watch women through through in through their windows. I am the game. <laughs> I don't watch TV. I'm the show. Yeah. Yeah. Listen up, everyone but, at but home. But here's the thing. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Because if you don't say hello, okay, yep. this is what happens. Then you turn into the the cycle, that weird cycle you get in, where now you're the guy who doesn't say hello, yes. but she knows that he knows that they you know who each other is. 
and now you're that weird guy. And that weird guy, I've been that guy, is the worst guy you can be. You even get caught checking her out a few times. You haven't said hello. If it takes you got your you Harvard five or... sweatshirt on. <laughs> you're walking by or you're doing tries, and you're trying to get her to say hello to you with your Harvard sweatshirt on. She goes, I think I saw you with like a Santa Clara sweatshirt. Do, which, so which is it? <laughs> I just like Harvard. Uh, <laughs> no, but here's the ever, deal, dude. Yeah. If you if you wait five or six to- instances to yeah. say hi, you're dead in the water. Yeah, you're a done. You're, it's donezo. It's donezo. Unless, just, yeah. unless you have like a sniper bullet shot that works. <laughs> or unless she finds... You attractive? Where you go, I literally, I literally just got over, I'm a singer, and I couldn't talk for six months to try to heal up my vocal cords, and I've wanted to say hi, but I couldn't. Oh, that's good. So that's why I waited six times. Yeah, are you, you, <laughs> you go and up to And I know you're her. counting, too. <laughs> yeah, like you say, hey, in the coffee shop, you say, hey, I want to I say hello. I forgot that, but I but I couldn't because of my because I'm I'm a I'm a nervous wreck and I have no confidence. Yeah, I'm a nervous Nelly. Oh man, I hope I see this chick in public. I won't even do it. The only issue she does have a little bit of a long neck. <laughs> That's the only thing where I could be like, this might get a little irritating. <laughs> She got like a brontosaurus a neck. <laughs> yeah, but that can be nice though. If, like, if, like if no, go got, this kid, go oh this guy. My. That like. <laughs> Here's the thing though: if a girl like that is a little self-conscious about that, oh yeah, that might be an opportunity because if she's a molten rocket, like you've said, yeah, you need something that brings her down a few notches, right? Where she's not. I start talking where I just go. <laughs> like I kind of do some little moves where she knows that I recognize the long neck. <laughs> That's where you know a girl is unbelievably hot is when you you nitpick down to something that's like not really a thing. Yeah, yeah. She's got kind of a long neck. I think I kind of saw her kind of looking over my way a little bit here and there, too. I'll tell you what. You like long neck. You like the alien look, though. You said this. You like women with long necks. I don't know if I attributed and, and it. And eyes. No, it was not the eyes. Close together. It was the eyes. It wasn't the long neck. <laughs> I don't like eyes that are too close together. Pull up eyes close together versus far apart, and let's see if we can Bat, see the. Bat will never be able to unsee his job here. He's just like on his resume. He's like, you, they had me looking up. But I do like a girl that kind of has her eyes far, like a little farther (laughs) apart than normal. Yeah, no, I think I do. Well, I like big features. I love big eyes, big lips, even big forehead. What else do you like big of? Big headlights. I love big knockers. (laughs) See that I'm a knocker yeah. guy through. Well, actually, I'm a I'm a dumper. See, guy. See close but... together. That's go, not go up to the girl. Those up are top. all the same. Go up to the girl up top. There was a girl up top that looked. Yeah, see that girl. I don't find attractive. Her eyes are too close together. Yeah, no, I don't like that either. Although that's not that. Yeah. And this girl even has makeup tutorials for her close eyes. Go <laughs> wide at far apart. Close eyes. Go f- I, girls' eyes far apart. There's some. Here's what I think. I think this I, Miller. I'm setting you up with this girl. You'll love her. Her eyes are just. I mean, they're on different yeah, sides like of her. Type, dude, like this type of shit, dude. Oh, that's oh, hot. Because yeah. because right? you know what it is. Her eyes. I go, hey Miller. This girl's eyes are on different. Oh, different come on. I can't get this one out. Her eyes are on different sides of her head. <laughs> Miller loves a girl who. Miller, you should check this girl out. Her eyes are on different sides of her temple. I like to only ha- be able to look at one eye at a time. Pat, what the hell? I was starting to get half masked there with those babes. Here's the thing, and I wonder. So guys like symmetry, right? That's like just general. <laughs> guys like symmetry. A symmetrical right? face is attractive. Yeah, but so I like. So if it's far apart, I think it's more difficult to be symmetrical. <laughs> There's more room for error. Do you like? I like when the eyes are on a different plane. Yeah, where they 
And then you you know what I mean? Like one's higher than the other. Do no, you like, I don't. I don't like that. Yeah. I like fully symmetrical. And I like a lazy, like a like a little bit of a lazy eye. I ca- I kind of like a like droop. a touch of a I like lazy. a droop. <laughs> you like a droop? Yeah, go droopy eyes, Pat. Yeah. Pat you gotta stay with us, buddy. <laughs> we're in the we're in the main stretch here. There's nine minutes left. Pat, we're trying to get something to clip here. You like a droopy eye. Ew, Miller, that's ridiculous. Yeah, no, that's kind of nice. I, uh, go hot, droopy, not just droopy. Now we're getting like diseases. Yeah, hot, droopy eyes. Or you like a chick that looks like a guy? That's nice. This is, no, you know, like smart. a Jennifer Gardner. Smile, you're terrible at this. You gotta find a hot, ch- yeah, like that, Mia Kunis. Mila, you mean? Mia Kunis. This, Mila Kunis. This is one of Would my Would you hottest. say that's like a droopy eye kind She's of? She's one of my biggest crush. Like, Yeah, well, she has un- she has huge eyes. Yeah. Look at the ratio. Of eye Her, to, She has a gorgeous face. Of eye to nonsense. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's the other yeah. thing I love is, uh, what's that eyeliner? Is it eyeliner and eyeshadow? I like girls that wear a lot of black. Eyeshadow. Yeah, like, like a, that witch girl you like. Yeah, witch girl. <laughs> Wasn't there a girl you dated that was a witch? Yeah, I didn't really appreciate her, yeah, but oh, yeah. You, you like a lot of like, yeah, the they do the... Like a lot of black on the eye. Yeah, eyeshadow. Love it, dude. Ugh. So we'll see if I see her in public. Yeah, you got you to gotta see if you... If you can, uh, you're probably not though. It's probably not gonna happen. Like, unless I she- mean, we're both we both live around here. There's no way she's going to the gym because like she works around here. She's going in at five thirty. Yeah. So she lives in the East Village. I just need to be out and about enough to. Yeah, if she's as hot as you say though. Yeah, she probably got a fucking... No, she probably doesn't have... I don't think a girl that has a boyfriend is waking up at 5.30 to go to the gym. Yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. She's staying in bed with the hubby. I don't know about... Did she have a ring? No, I didn't check. Yeah, you People gotta... take off rings at the gym now. Have you ever seen someone really? with a wedding ring at the gym? <laughs> <laughs> like a di- big diamond? Right? <laughs> it's a good point. You don't usually see someone. And then the di- the, the <laughs> metal gets giant. like fucking all fucked up. The ring gets all fucked yeah. up because you're touching the barbell. Yeah, what do people do with their ring at the gym? Lock it away. Hope that no one steals it. Really? Do you go in the sauna over at your gym? There's no sauna. I wish there was. But steam room? There's no steam room. That's good. Those places get really good. Like what get I weird. do, I go dance studio for seven minutes. Yeah. Do some like uh, stretching, foam roller, ab. And then I do the bridges where you're kind of fucking the air. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those. You're on your back and you just go. What are you doing that for? It's your glutes. Oh, you're working your glutes. I'm in, I'm in, I'm heavy into getting my glutes big. <laughs> After my fucking physical therapist told me that my glutes suck, she goes, "You oh, have really? no." She goes, "You're you have no ass muscle." Wow. So I've been heavy Got into it. glutes, which is squats, right? But glute, you know this. Yeah. Just clenching your butt, um, and then I go to the weight room to finish off for like forty five, fifty minutes. And you do... I do squats. I pump iron. Do you do biceps in the mirror? See, that's I the thing that. is I only... I, I do legs almost every time. Oh. Um, and then... Wow, you do a really unconventional... Because I go in there, you know, to show off a little bit of, well, the, of the guns. Yeah, I'm going for sustainability. Yeah. I need... Like, my legs need... it Since I got back problems, my legs need to be rocking and rolling, you know? Yeah. But I do... I'd say twice a week, I'll do bicep curls. Yeah. And I'm and I'm doing the, like, 
the thing about the bicep curl is that uh it's just it's fun but i think that the sexier thing is to have like a nice ass and like a rockin' core i think a core is like farmer strength you know what i mean like biceps is like finance bro <laughs> core is like this guy is fucking sows fields I think if you go to the gym a lot, I think most gym guys don't love biceps. They grow out of this bicep. Thing. Yeah. Not me. I don't go enough, so when I go, I like to let peeps know. You go shirtless, sleeveless? What do you wear at yeah. the gym? I'll go. I'll, I'll roll up the sleeves and just do biceps. Yeah. Pump M, bump M&M. I go, I go big. Uh, I'm a big long sleeve and sweatshirt guy at the gym. We're so different. Because I go, I like. <laughs> you are doing legs and you're wearing a parka. Yeah, because that's like the fucking cool. That's like th this guy isn't trying to big dog anyone. <laughs> this guy's trying to sweat it out. I'm trying to ironically big dog everyone. Yeah, you're a big dog. I'm you're going, a big dog. Ha! You know, yeah. and I'll 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 let out. I think that's why the girls give me some looks at the gym. They go, this guy's. Yeah. Here. That's right. Mostly what I get are the guys. I get guys. Yeah. Out. They're like, oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Oh. If you're still with us. <laughs> Do you got anything oh. else or should we end early? Give give Pat some time back to his life. Pat, yeah, do you have anything you to I got say something. for yourself? I got something. I got, I got, you started later early. The other oh, thing okay. I wear some. I got something we can talk about. I wear though. some like seven inch shorts. So when I yeah. do the squat, so when I do the squat, my junk at the bottom of the base, my you, junk pops right, out. You dip a little sack. Yeah. That's it's nice. fucking nice. Dude. That's nice. And everyone, dude. if they're looking at me, they see that all I'm looking at is my fucking sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah, the squats. Yeah, yeah. What's the tea your other bag? It's like a tea bag. I'm a tea bag and all. And I got different variations. <laughs> the front desk guy. He's like, oh, that I go tea all bag. sorts, all sorts of tea bag moves. <laughs> That's good. I What's we're gonna have thing? to talk about this next time because it's a it's a it's a full scale. You had something a couple weeks ago. Is this what it is? Yeah. Oh man. I went to church, St. Patrick's Cathedral. So I've been going periodically to yeah. mass. Where is that? It's up on Sixth uh, Avenue. I grew up Catholic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like kind of lapsed, and now I've I've re I've re rediscovered. Yeah, I got back in touch power. with my roots so much so that I went to confessional. No man, really? And wow! Till next time, people.